Hello and welcome to the microwave engineering lecture titled Impedance and Admittance on Smith Charts. In the previous lecture we derived the Smith chart in terms of impedance. We could have also derived the Smith chart in terms of admittance. However, from the impedance Smith chart, deriving to admittance is trivially easy. We can just make an admittance Smith chart by rotating the standard Smith chart by 180 degrees. Remember that the Smith chart is just a plot of complex numbers. These numbers can be admittance as well as impedance. To determine admittance from impedance or the other way around, we follow these steps. The first step is to plot the impedance point on the Smith chart. The second step is to draw a circle centered on the Smith chart that passes through the point. These circles are called constant visual circles. Third, we draw a line from the impedance point passing through the center and to the other side of the circle. Finally, the intersection at the other side is the admittance. Here is a graphical representation on how you do it. First, you plot the impedance point. Then, you draw a circle centered on the Smith chart that passes through the point to have your constant visual circle. Then, we draw a line from the impedance point passing through the center and going to the other side. The intersection is your admittance. Here's how you visualize the impedance to admittance conversion in terms of circuits. For an impedance of 1 plus J1, you can visualize it by having a resistor and an inductor in series. When you convert from impedance to admittance, you now have a resistor and an inductor in parallel with values 0.5 minus J 0.5. Here is an example to how to convert to admittance. Convert the normalized impedance Z equals 0.2 plus J 0.4 to normalized admittance Y. As discussed previously, we first plot the impedance on the chart. This is where it is located. Next, we draw our constant visual circle with origin at the center of the Smith chart and passing through the impedance. Next, we draw a line that passes through the impedance point, through the center, and to the other side. Now we read off the admittance from the intersection of the visual circle and the line. Here we see that y equals 1.0 minus j 2.0. This is another example using the combined impedance and admittance Smith chart. Convert the normalized impedance z equals 0.5 minus j 0.3 to normalized admittance y. Here is a combined impedance and admittance Smith chart, where the red lines represent the impedance Smith chart and the blue lines represent admittance. Recall that the admittance Smith chart is just a rotated version of the impedance Smith chart. By overlaying them both, we can make impedance and admittance calculations much easier. It may be confusing at first, but once you get to know how to handle the combined Smith chart, making complex calculations will be very easy. For the first step, we plot the impedance on the chart. Remember that we are looking at impedance, so we plot it in the red lines. This is where the impedance is located. Now we read off the admittance from the blue lines in the admittance Smith chart. Here we can see that it is located at 1.5 plus J 0.9. And this is how you convert from impedance to admittance using the combined Smith chart. As you can see, it is very easy.